Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can change, alter, increase or decrease the respawn rate or the spawn rate of items in your Nitrado, Xbox or PlayStation private server. Yes, with update 1.07 as admins we now have control over respawn, well lots of things, but in this video we're going to look at the respawn rate of items. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you where the file is that controls this. Talk a little bit about the language that they use in these files so you can kind of understand what's going on and uh, what numbers you would change in order to change the respawn rates of items. But it can seem very complicated, but don't worry because we're going to be using this thing, the DAISY standalone server customizer, and I will put the link in the description to below the video. And this handy little online tool made by uh, Nixon Henriksen, and git jjig, I jig, um, basically does everything for you. So it's very, very, very easy. So let's get started. So first things first, go to Nitrado, go to your control panel with all your, your your services in, then pick the server you want to work on. In this case, I'm gonna work on my um, Churderus one. So we'll click on the little icon. So we're in the dashboard. Then we want to go down to the file browser here, down on the left-hand side. You can do this on the mobile app as well, actually. And then we want to go into the Daisy PS underscore missions folder, which is in the middle here. And then we've got the Daisy offline dot generous plus. If you're working on your Livonia server, it will say Enoch on it. Click on that one. Then we want to go into the DB. I guess that stands for database folder. So click on that one. And here we go. So the one we're interested in is the types.xml file. But before we go any further, we're gonna back it up. It's always important to back things up. So if things go wrong, we can just roll it back to a previous um, a previous types file. So it's this little white button here, copy or move. We're gonna copy that. Then it says actions, type XML. We're gonna copy it here. And we just, it doesn't tell you what it wants you to do, but it wants another name. So we're gonna do types, backup, um, 14th Feb 20 and we're going to save that so let it update and then if we come down now we've got types back up 14th Feb 20 um, so if we just change that back to um, if things went wrong we could delete that types file change the name of that one to types.xml and everything would be right with the world so let's let's go in and let's have a look at this file this magic file that controls respawn rates it's quite big actually for these XML files. This is one of the bigger files that you'll come across. So it takes a little bit to load, or maybe it's the Nitrado servers that take a little bit of time to load. And then you'll see it's kind of got all this rather strange language in that's a little bit a little bit difficult to understand. So we'll start off right at the top. So you may well recognize a few words straight away. So and it looks very much like a HTML file, doesn't it? If you've been ever done making web pages and things. Type name ACOG Optic. Oh, we know what that is. That's a scope, isn't it? It's going on one of your assault rifles. Nominal 15, lifetime 7200, restock 1800. What do all these numbers and words mean? And then if you scroll down, you'll suddenly realize that there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of items here. As you'd expect in DayZ, you know, we've got all the different guns, we've got all the different ammo, we've got all the different magazines, we've got, we've got food, we've got loads, there's so much stuff, isn't there? so much stuff. But let's just talk about what these words mean so we can kind of understand what's going on here, but also kind of how DAISY works. So I pulled out um, this bit about the ACOG Optic. So obviously type name, ACOG, ACOG Optic. So that's what it's called. Nominal, 15. So what that means is that's how many in total there should be on your server. That's it, only 15. And some of these items you'll come across, you think, what, there's only going to be that many? That's not many. So only 15. Now lifetime, that's the number in seconds that one of these ACOG optics should hang around on the server um, until they despawn if nobody picks it up or touches it. So if an ACOG optic spawns in on your server, it will hang around for two hours and then it will disappear again. Restock. Now this is the time in seconds between um, more of these optics respawning in which means half an hour. And that's related to the next one. So the next one is minimum of eight. So what happens is, although you're meant to have 15 max, 
the server waits until you've only got eight on the server and then it starts to spawn them in again and the restock value means that um, it's going to be uh, waiting half an hour between each one so it's slowly slipping them in again it's not going to put them in all at once if the restock value was zero it would put them in all at once let me just double check that I am correct when I say that let's have a look restock yeah zero yeah I was correct quant min quant max so what these are is these relate to if the item was something that would have something else inside specifically say magazines for 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 uh, machine guns or submachine guns or pistols that normally have bullets in so they can spawn in with things inside them already you've probably picked them up but they've got a few bullets inside so what you could do you could say well, actually I want all my um, I want them all to, to spawn in full and um, the numbers relate to I th it's one to one to ten I think um, and that relates to you know 10 would be absolutely full yeah it's in percentage minimum quality yes and when they have minus one in it like this it means that it doesn't apply so a scope doesn't have anything inside it does it um, I suppose you could argue that some of them need batteries inside them don't they but the, the ACOG apparently doesn't need this it doesn't have anything inside it might the battery might be related to it so it's at minus one the cost this relates to the priority for the server so should it should it be respawning them is it an important thing and then this one here the flags count are telling the the central loot economy which is the bit in the daisy game that's controlling what's going on in terms of stuff on your server is what should it count so what it's saying is with with the optic you should say if they're hidden in a, in a cargo or in a horde don't count them or a player's got one or there's one that's been made then, then don't count it. You know, um, it, it's saying don't count it. Only count the ones that are actually on the map. So that could be just quite interesting, that isn't it? Because um, it means that it doesn't count anything that you've it doesn't count any ACOG scopes that are buried, you know, in dry sacks or in barrels or anything like that, where other things are. Category name, weapons usage name, military. Now. So you suddenly get an idea of how Daisy kind of thinks the server thinks when it's when it's creating your your game and populating your server with stuff. But don't worry, <laughs> let's get onto the good stuff now. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to download our Daisy um, uh, type that XML file and we're going to edit it using that website. So all we do is we go over here to download. Let me click on that. It's going to download it. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Don't want to download the backup. Although it's probably a good idea to download the backup. So we've downloaded types.xml. Let's show that in the folder so we know where it is. So there it is. So then you go to uh, daisy.skn1.se. I'll put the link in the show notes uh, down below. And it just drag and drop. <laughs> so we just grab that. We drop it in, and we let it work, and then the, <laughs> this really is magic. So remember the ACOG scope, the first one we looked at, ACOG optic, maximum 15, minimum 8, priority, restock timer, and lifetime timer. Now, there's some things we can't control with this, with this uh, tool. You can't control, for example, um, magazines having bullets inside them. But trust me, this is much, much easier <laughs> than trying to go through in a tech editor and change stuff. So what we're going to do next is, I'm just going to go back to my downloads, and I'm just going to delete that types. Let's get rid of that, so it's gone. So let's have a look. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change, say that we wanted to change the rate that M4 assault rifles spawn in. That's good, isn't it? So what we could do is we could change this filter down here to weapons, and it's all in alphabetical order, and you could go through M4 and you could find M4A1 there we go or you could search for it so if you search for M4 uh, it would appear there so M4A1 on the server settings at the moment there's a max this might be a little bit difficult to see but there's a maximum of 10 and a minimum of 7 it's pretty cool isn't it and the restock timer is 1800 seconds so we could say actually we want we want more M4s than that 
we want 30 let's have let's let's triple it so 30 m4s we want and we want a minimum of say we want it to start um spawning them in when there's 20 uh when it gets down to 20 so that means it'll start doing it straight priority 100 percent for input restock restock timer um let's say you know we we, we want that to be uh say uh, one we want them to spawn in one every second how about that actually actually now let's change that to zero so they all spawn in at once so now on my server when when we sort this all out we're going to have 30 m4s on the map in total um, and they're going to just respawn all at once, which should be pretty cool. You'll notice things here is like the M4 black, the M4 green. What are these? Now, the other thing you probably want to do is if you're spawning in all that, you know, more M4s, you probably want more magazines for them, don't you? So let's search for mags. And uh, here we go. Here we are. And it's the standard mag, isn't it? I, th I think it's the standard mag that they put in the M4. So at the moment on the server 30 standard mags um, spawn in with a minimum of 20 so let's change that to let's triple it this, this 90 let's make let's say they start spawning in at 70 and let's make them all spawn in at the same time so let's change that to zero there we go and what you could do then is you could also um you could also look at the optics and you know the related and the magazine the the the, uh, the ammunition as well to go into them you could you could do all that sort of stuff i'll probably recommend just change a few things to start off with now the thing that uh, we all tend to run out of is duct tape isn't it so if we search for duct tape so at the moment there should be 80 duct tapes on the server uh, it should start loading more in at 60 restock time is zero so it just bloop, they all come in at once but I tell you what let's let's really whack this up because i think there should be way more duct tape than that let's do i don't know what do you reckon 300 let's make sure there's 300 duct tapes and let's make them come in at 200 priority is 100 restock time is zero so i'm pretty happy with that now um you know we've got more m4s and we've got more duct tape. <laughs> what more could you want in your server? So what we're going to do now is we're going to save this down here. So we just click save. And then it appears, here you go my fellow survivors, I give you a file, types.xml. So if you click on that, it will then download it. If we go into, I'll show in a folder, there it is, so it's there. So now, we can go back to here. And what I would probably recommend you do at this point is I would say stop the server. You know, if you, when you're starting to muck around with files, you don't want to be doing stuff while the the, the 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 game is trying to do things as well. You don't want it to be you know it's trying to access this file as you're trying to trying to change it. So let's let's just stop it. And um, the uh, the other thing that I'm sort of looking at while I'm doing this is that there's a great. Um, article on true gaming which kind of explains the way all this works and I'll put links to that down as well so the server's shutting down you know, it's a bit like if you delete a file on your computer while it's trying to use it it gets a little bit angry about that doesn't it doesn't like it. so that's stopped so what we can do now is we can delete the types XML file so just delete it oh, you want to delete it yes I do and now we're just going to upload a file And where is it? Types XML. Open. There it is. Types.xml has been loaded up. And then we'll start the server. If you ever see a situation where you do this and your um, file has like um, gears next to it and you can't access it it normally means that probably something's gone wrong and so what you probably want to do at that point is revert to your backup now even now even though I've uploaded this type file I'm not deleting <laughs> this backup that backup is staying there because that's the original settings from the latest update always keep the keep those backups always keep a backup on your computer as well 
um, and obviously a good way th thing to do is to then communicate with your uh, the members who go on your server and say look can you look out for this if you notice anything odd now when you are changing these things around <laughs> and you are mucking around with the um, with the file don't go too mad because if you're adding extra items into your server it will affect the performance of the server you know if all of a sudden you've got a thousand M4s or a thousand barrels you know or ten thousand cans of baked beans um, it's gonna it's gonna affect the performance of the server and also what we haven't talked about in this video is spawn locations all that's happening here is that for example with the M4 M4 spawn near military bases don't they or military locations in military tents military barracks that sort of thing so it's just saying that there's going to be more of a chance of one spawning in there we're not saying spawn one in a particular location um, but I could see you know you could use this tool for example on our servers we don't have nighttime really so I should probably not you know remove things like the um, the glow sticks we don't need them just take them off let's get them off that sort of thing but anyway hopefully this has been useful um, give it a go there is a little bit of debate at the moment about what actually is working with the uh, with the servers um, and um, this might not might not start straight away um, but anyway that gives you a good background as to how to edit the spawn rates of things now if you found this video useful hit the like button if you want to see more to subscribe remember all the links will be in the description box down below thank you very much and if you've got any other questions ask away and I will see you again soon.